Hello guys, my name is Casper and I'll be taking you through angular correction for a closed loop travel. So, for a start, we have a sketch diagram here for a closed loop travel. Given the, we are given the interior angles for the travel. So, in some, in some cases, we are, will be given the exterior angles. And for the interior angles, we will say if we have to get to the submission of the wall polygon, the angle submission for the wall polygon, we say n minus 2 multiplied by 180. If we were given the exterior angles, we would say n plus 2 multiplied by 180. But in this case, we will be dealing with this one. So the n it represents the number of angles in our polygon. So in this case, we uh, come here and say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 angles. Therefore, we will say 6 minus 2 multiplied by 180, which gives us a sum of 720. 180 is 180 degrees, so here it's 720 degrees. So if we sum up our angles, angle A to F, we they are supposed to get 720, 720 this one. And if we don't get the 720, that's where it comes here, the angular correction. So that we add or subtract the, the, the misclosure, the angular misclosure, depending on how much misclosure it is. Is it below the 720 or is it be above 720? So in this case, we we'll we are given our angles, <coughs> our angles, let's say that's point ID, that's the point name, angles, angle, the disclosure, disclosure, and the corrected C for corrected angle. So A, that's our first that's our first angle, this one. We have 121, 30, 50. That's our angle A. Then for angle B, we have 98, 38, 56. This is our angle B. Then for angle C, we have uh, 134, 45. Sorry, 25, 45, like this. Then for angle D, we have 101, uh, 33, 41. 41, that's angle D. Angle E, we have 144, 52, 52, 10. These are degrees, minutes, and seconds. Uh, then for um, angle F, we have 119 degrees, 8 minutes, 8 seconds, like this. So in this year, the last row, we have our submission, our submission. So if we sum up angle A, B, C, D, and A, E, and F, in this case, if we sum up this, what we have here, we'll get 7... 19, 719 degrees, 59 minutes, 30 seconds. And we are, we are expected to be getting 720 degrees, like I said before. So if we say 720 degrees, subtract the 719 degrees, 59 minutes, 30 seconds, we will get a difference of 30 seconds. Which means our closed loop is not closed. It has a misclosure of 30 seconds. And the misclosure, it needs to be, to be shared amongst the, the, the angles that we have, our uh, six angles. So in this case, I'm going to use the weighted average. What do I mean by weighted average is that the, the bigger the angle, the bigger the shear that it gets from the disclosure. So 
So for example, 121 degrees, it gets more when the disclosure is being shared compared to the 98 degrees. And same applies this. So the <coughs> sorry, our formula that I'm going to use, it says angle, we say angle theta, angle theta over sum of angles, sum of angles multiplied by the traverse disclosure. Disclosure. Like this. So the angle theta, it represents these angles, angle A, B, C, D, to F. Summation of angles here is the sum, summation of angles, the 719, 59, 719 degrees, 59 minutes and 30 seconds. So in this case, what do we do? Our traverse disclosure, like I said, if we say 720 degrees, subtract our sum of angles, we will get 30 seconds. This is going to be the sum of our disclosure here. So we are going to share the disclosure of 30 seconds amongst these angles. So for the sake of time, I'm going to just go through and write the angles. But we need to punch. What we do is we take, for example, I'll give one example to simplify for the benefit of everyone. For example, I will do for A, we say 121 degrees, 30 seconds, 30 minutes, sorry, 50 seconds over the sum, 719, 59, 30 times the disclosure for the traverse, which is the 30 seconds. For this one, if we punch in our calculators, we get 5 seconds. Like this. Since I said the our disclosure is thirty, it is thirty degree, thirty seconds less on seven hundred and twenty. It means that we need to add thirty seconds. To, we need to add those thirty seconds to our angles for us to get the seven hundred and twenty. Seven hundred and twenty. Yes, for us to get this. So this one is zero, it's five seconds. And for this one, I'm just going to write through. We have four seconds here. We have uh, six seconds here. We have um, four seconds here. We have um, six, six seconds here. We have um, four seconds here. Sorry, four seconds. So if we add five plus four, nine, nine plus six, fifteen, fifteen plus four, that's nineteen. Nineteen plus six, that's twenty-five. Twenty-five. Sorry, uh, I think I made an error here. It's five. So that's nine, nine, fifteen, fifteen, nineteen, nineteen. 25, 25 plus 5, that's 30, we get the 30 seconds. So, from there, we are now going to add our angles, the, the, the already existing angles that we were given here. We will add with the disclosure, like this. So, it's 121 degrees, 30 minutes, 50 seconds. We add with the 5 seconds. So, in this case, it's 121, 30, 55. In this case, it's 98, 39, sorry, it's 29, yeah, 28, so it's now 29, 0 seconds. Then for this one, it's 134, 25, 51, then we have 101, 33, 44, then for this one, we have 144, 52, 16, and for this one we have 119, 8, 13. So if we add these, we are going to get our 720 degrees. This is um, the weighted average. We can also look in on 
using another um, method, the equal distribution, which we will be doing in our next video. And for this video, I think this is the um, this is all the correction. Now these are the corrected angles. From then, we will show you on how to use these angles going forward for a closed loop traverse on how to get our coordinates for the points for the given points here. We'll be doing that in our next video. Uh, thank you so much. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our videos so that we can continue making more videos for you. Thank you so much. Enjoy.